here's the thing about, I guess, how I put things together. I don't necessarily want to look back through my planners and my journals and see a bunch of like negative self-talk. Like I do that enough during the day in my head. I don't want it written down. So I try to keep really positive with things that I write. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back if this is not your first time here. My name is April, this is Plan With April and I'm gonna do a flip through of the composition notebook that I cut down to an A5 size due the month of March. So if you remember, you were here with me when I set this up, make sure we are in camera. Did, I did cover all the conversions up and this is just with a piece of craft wrapping paper. Put a sticker down from Coffee Monsters Co. Did some stamping and then put all of the washi and dots that I would be using for the month of March. My goal was to use the same color on all of the month of March so that it just was aesthetically pleasing. So let's see how that worked out. This is my drawn month of March. Uh, it wasn't my favorite. It wasn't really usable. It's it's quite large. Again, it wasn't it wasn't very usable. It wasn't my best use of the month. Now, I will say, it does fill up the entire page. So, I could still write things on here. I could have made the numbers smaller. Could have done a lot of other things. But as far as my first layout in a notebook that I created, that's fine with it. First week, so we're looking at March fourth through the tenth really like how this looks. I did a horizontal spread and this day I split it so I had personal and then business and then down at the bottom I have made this pineapple cucumber jalapeno salad like three times in the month of March. So huge huge favorite. It's one of our big favorites. Wrote down my market list here, did my meal prep here, and then the different meals for the days of the week. I got this idea after watching uh, Planning a Life with Erin and watching her set up her Hobonichi Weeks, and she does it very similar to this, so I thought I'm going to try that layout and see how it works for me. I did add just some different ephemera. Um, I had messed up down here if you watched the plan with me and tried to line the stamps up together instead of doing them individually. It did not work. So anyway, I've learned quite a few different techniques in this notebook, which have been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. I did end up gluing two pages together so that I had a thicker paper so that I could write um, with anything that I wanted to write with. Do you have to do that? Absolutely not. Um, I did, I, I'm glad I did again because I can write with just about anything I want in here. This is the daily section that I set up and at first this worked out really really well and then it started not really working out all that well because I wasn't necessarily using it so you can see how I kind of just fade out and then I cut up a magazine that I had got in the mail. Highs and lows. This was think I had the best of intentions for it but yeah you'll see you shall see and then March 11th through the 17th all pencil I had a whole week where I did nothing but pencil layouts really enjoyed this a whole lot I did change this a little bit around where I put dinners over here did my actual work schedule and then did just a check checklist I had a to do and then my market list so one thing I will tell you about pencil is different about pen because it's graphite, it will transfer on the paper or lead. Is it lead or graphite? I think it's both. I don't know. Tell me down below if you know. But once I wrote on it with my pen, it transferred over on the back, which is not a big deal. You can grab your eraser and remove it. It's not a big deal. So again, doing pretty good filling out the dailies. This was March 11th and 12th. 13th and 14th, I'm like, mm, maybe. And then Friday, I'm like, sure, I'm gonna do video ideas and then nothing else. And then Saturday, I'm just gonna make a running list of things I wanna get done. Sunday, same thing, running list. And then highs and lows. I have a really hard time with highs and lows. 
I have a really easy time with highs, but I have a really hard time with lows, like picking out the lows from the week. It sounds like I'm promoting Home Depot and lows. I'm not like things that didn't work out so well. Here's the thing about, I guess, how I put things together. I don't necessarily want to look back through my planners and my journals and see a bunch of like negative self-talk. Like I do that enough during the day in my head. I don't want it written down. So I try to keep really positive with things that I write. So I'm gonna have to change this from highs to lows to maybe highlights of the week or things that went great or you know something different because just this highs and lows turns me off. Like I turn to this page and I'm like, I don't, I don't wanna write on it. Oh, this is when we started the horizontal hourly and I will tell you, I love this layout. I love the doodles. I just, I love the whole thing. So this is the week, March 18th through the 24th. The only mistake I made on this one was that I had miscounted my columns or my rows and I did four instead of three. So I ended up with Saturday and Sunday on the same row, which it worked out fine. I wish I would have had a little bit more room, but Overall, I think it looks really aesthetically pleasing. There's a lot of information on this side. There's some doodles on this side, and then I just filled in a couple with some Coffee Monsters Co. Uh, stickers. Wrote down the book I'm reading, the movie we were watching, or the series we were watching, and then these two were lunch and dinner, which I really, really liked a lot. And then just a strip of washi down at the bottom. And as you can see, for the times at the top, I started at 6 a.m. and ended at 8 p.m. Again, we're going to go through the dailies. They're going to get less and less and less. Well, this one was good. Oh, I think I was watching the city council work session, so I was taking notes. Notes, 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 notes. Um, combination. Oh, okay. So it looks like I was at a 10 on the anxiety scale. That's good to know. Sunday, nothing. Highs and lows again was that. And then we go into the last week of the month. This is nice. And when I was reading comments this morning, uh, one of you pointed out that I wrote the 27th twice. You are absolutely correct. I did. I don't know what I was thinking. I do. I really struggled with this layout because I was trying to write Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, but instead I was writing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I was like, oh no, that's not it. So I'm, I'm, I can totally see how I put that in there. And I'm just going to leave it there because I think that's all part of doing this. Like there's going to be mistakes and I'm totally fine with that. So as you can see, this one is not as filled in as this one. Like I got really excited about the layout, filled it in, had it on my desk at work, kept track of work things. And then this one, I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm just going to draw across. Like I'm not going to write it multiple times. I got a little lazy patazy and I don't know if it was just last week was like that. And I was like, okay, here it is. But it doesn't look like I did. I didn't write in any dinners, just that I ate. I don't even know that I ate all these nights. Maybe. Uh, the book I'm reading, The Sinner by Simone, Sarah Simone, I think it is. Sierra Simone, that's what it is. Yeah, so that is the whole month of March. And then we get into the last set of dailies. Can we talk about season three of Bridgerton? Um, I am here for this one. Pen? Yes. Let me know. Are you a Bridgerton fan? Are you a Bridgerton fan? Say it in my best Bridgerton voice. So yeah, that, and again, Sunday and highs and lows just did not work out. And then we get into the month of April. So that is the flip through. Let me know down below what you think. Let me know if you're going to try any of these layouts. And I would be, I would be curious to know if you have tried the hourly layout yet in a horizontal rather than a vertical and what you think about it. I thought it was going to be really difficult. I did not struggle through it at all. As you can see, I really, really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. I love you. I will see you again. I'm going to be doing a swatch with the Crayola Brights, so definitely stay tuned for that. Hope you have the best week, and I will see you down below in the comments. Love you. Bye. Thank you.